Are you tired of wasting your hard-earned money on shitty kitchen gadgets that don't work? Vivian calls the BS. With Vivian Tries, you just sit back and enjoy, just like being in your kitchen with a good old friend. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. We are trying oh, this giant thing. It is the chill chest. Brand new on the as seen on television market. It promises so many things. This thing promises to keep food ice cold without ice in this foldable cooler for up to 10 hours. Now in the infomercial, he packs up the chest and he packs up another one, the traditional one that we're all used to. And I have one just like the one in the infomercial. So he packs both of them up with frozen items and ice cream. And in six hours, he comes back. The ice cream in the chill chest is still frozen solid, just like it was when he put it in six hours earlier. And the ice cream that was in the traditional cooler was melted. So we're gonna do that exact same scenario. I have some soda pop cans to put in here. I have some bottled water to put in here. I have ice cream to put in here. And I might even throw in a little bowl of ice in each one to see what's gonna happen after six hours. I'm just gonna leave them out here. I'm not gonna touch them. I'm not gonna open them. So I'm just gonna leave them on the counter and we're gonna come back to see if it's gonna deliver on that promise. It says up to 10, but we're just gonna do six because We'll be impressed with six. It is lightweight, definitely. It even says that it can hold, I think, up to a hundred times its weight. Did I make that up? I might have made that up. But it should hold a grown ass person standing on it because there was a grown ass man standing on it in the infomercial. So, guess what I'm about to do? If I bust this thing before I even start this review, ooh, I'm gonna be mad. Here we go. Okay. It feels like a really nice. Here we go. It is really nicely made. Whoa. Okay, so there's one, two. It's like puzzle pieces. You're gonna assemble everything. One side is ready for me. This would be a nice idea to keep in your car. They do mention that in the infomercial, right? If you're driving around doing groceries and then you don't wanna go straight home, hopefully this thing works because I will definitely be using it that way. It says, fill it up. Your chill chest must be full for best results. Place colder items like frozen foods on top of the other items to keep them colder and protected from warm air when opening the lid and closing the lid. If you only have a few items in the chill chest, use a small towel or shopping bags to fill up the space around your items, providing better insulation. I don't want to do that. I don't have to do that in my other cooler. I'm not going to pack it with towels. Last item on here, it says use... F what? Come on now. It says use freezer packs or ice. No. Use freezer packs or ice to extend the cooling power of your chest. Only use with ice outside as chest is not water tight. What? Wait a second. So you're telling me that for the price that I paid, this thing is not watertight. So if I did want to add ice to this, I can't. So a fail. We're deducting Vivian heads for that because, uh-uh. What if I want to add ice because I have a long road trip and I put this shit in my car with food so it's going to leak all in my car? Uh, no, I'll just take my little handy cooler here that costs half the price of this guy and it's not going to leak. This one's waterproof. What the hell? Don't come now with your conditions. No, it says thank you. Your new chill chest uses iceless technology to lock in the temperature of cold food. Nope, you're telling me to add towels. You're telling me water is gonna leak and you're telling me to add ice packs if needed. You didn't say that on the infomercial. If you would have said that, I wouldn't have bought this. This is like a novelty kind of thing. Hey everybody, look at my foldable chest. Don't put ice in it though, cause it's gonna drip. I guess if you're outside, who gives a shit, right? But no, I don't want, no. I'm so disappointed in the shit I just read on that paper because this thing was not cheap. 
Can I buy like a styrofoam cooler for like five bucks or something? And it won't leak? Is this get out of here. Get out of here. It's really nice. It's made very well. I'm gonna step on it real quick. This shit better not bust, otherwise video's over. All right, so it passed that test. I was able to stand on it without any issues. It is definitely strong. I just wish it was leak proof, but it's not. So get over it, Vivian. So I'm gonna start packing this thing with food and then close it. If there is some gaps, then there is some gaps, but I'm not going to chance $100 worth of food in here <laughs> without knowing it's gonna work for sure. Okay, last item I'm putting in here is going to be some frozen whipping cream. I don't have any additional frozen items to put in this cooler, so this test is a no-go. I'm not gonna open it again. I'm going to move it to this little corner of my island. We'll check back in six hours to see. I'm really coming to check that ice cream, and I packed it in there just like they recommended in the instructions. I did want to put a couple of cubes of ice in this glass bowl and put it in here as well, just to see if they melt. I packed the giant frozen fruit on top of the ice cream. I also had two frozen bottles of water on top of the ice cream. So there is a lot of frozen items on top of the ice cream and also all of the soda cans that I put in there. They've been in my refrigerator for three days so they are nice and chilled out. I think I have enough stuff in there for this test to work properly. If it doesn't, they owe me $100 worth of groceries at least, <laughs> not a hundred, but you know what I mean, a lot. So we're gonna check back in six hours to see if we have ice cream soup or not. I better not have ice cream soup, that's all I'm saying. All right, we're back, it has now been just over six hours. I haven't opened anything, I haven't touched it. I do wanna say a couple of things before we get in here. I am impressed with the way this thing kind of sealed when I closed it up. I don't feel any air like leaking out. I don't feel anything, any kind of coldness or anything from the items that are frozen in there. Something else that you may have noticed whenever I was packing the products in here, I could not stand the water bottles in here so I had to actually lay them down because if I left them just standing, the lid was open just slightly and I did not want that. So that is why I laid the water bottles flat on top of everything else. I did not add anything to just the normal Coleman's chest that I have here, but I did add just a glass bowl with some ice cubes as you guys would have seen, just to see how melted they are compared to this guy. And there's nothing else in here, just as an experiment. I know that they say in the infomercial that products can last in here for up to 10 hours. And the example they used was the ice cream with all the things that were packed in here for six hours and it did not melt. The ice cream was still solid. But in real life, you are opening this thing all day. Like if you're out at a picnic or something, right? You're opening this. So if you're opening and closing this thing without any ice, is it truly gonna last six hours? Or is it truly gonna last 10 hours? There's just some questions that I have. 
fingers crossed that this works. I also have my little handy gun here so that we can check the temperature. I'm gonna move this one over a little. Shit, that is heavy. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, go. Did I, oh. Completely melted. The temperature of that melted ice is 68.7. Okay, now I'm really nervous. This was just an experiment. Let's move it to the side. It completely melted in six hours. One, two, three, go. Ooh, they still have ice cubes, yay. Yay, okay. Oh, my water is still ice. Whipped cream is a little melted. The frozen fruit is starting to thaw, but they're still icy. Ooh, look, that is still solid ice. Okay, let's take these out. Let's check that damn ice cream. Okay, ice cream, wait a second. So the ice cream feels very soft. It feels like it's melted. It's not complete liquid. Let's stick a spoon in there to see. Okay, so it's not liquid, but it's definitely melted. I think it would have completely melted in a couple more hours. Six hours later. All right, there's the time. It wasn't a fail. It wasn't as fabulous as the infomercial made it seem. I hate products like this where some things are really impressive and then some things are just like, what? Uh, no, right? Like, this is not watertight. <laughs> or the fact that you have to add towels or bags to fill in any additional space. And if I'm opening it and closing it the entire time, how long is it truly gonna stay cold? So many questions, so many things. I'm not really sure on this product. I think because of the price point, I'm leaning more towards skip it. For all of the reasons that are listed, I'm gonna give the chill chest three Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I am putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.